Now let's head to the mountains to meet a new citizen of Taiwan with a very unique story. Professor Rick D. Busser first came to Taiwan 22 years ago for a linguistics conference. After falling in love with the country, he became a specialist in the language of Bunong people. Now he works at the Graduate Institute of Linguistics at National Zhengzhou University, where he's an expert in Taiwan's indigenous languages. Last year, he finally received official Taiwanese citizenship. Rick Di Bassa from Belgium speaks Bunon pretty well, better than some members of the tribe. The NCCU professor listens carefully as an elder from the tribe shares a story. He's lived over a decade in Taiwan and is comfortable in Mandarin and Bunun, having dedicated himself to immersive field research of the Bunun language. The first time I came to Taiwan was about 22 years ago for a conference. Then I made a trip around the island and I thought it was quite fun. So when I went back to Belgium, I was thinking if I learned a new language, why not make it Chinese? So Dibasa returned to Taiwan to study Mandarin. He made lots of friends from the Bunun tribe. He told him that hardly any Taiwanese scholars were researching indigenous languages. That was when his love affair with indigenous culture and Austronesian languages began, as well as a more personal love affair. My wife is from the Bunong people, so I think that's the most special memory. Actually, I had been secretly hoping for a long time that I would meet someone who understood our language. I was quite touched when I saw how hard he was working to learn it. The couple fell in love at first sight and Dibasa decided to stay in Taiwan. He tagged along with tribe members, climbing mountains and swimming in Taiwan Sea, learning about the Bunon people's way of life. After a year of romance, the couple were married and decided to stay in Taiwan. Now Dibasa has even received Taiwanese citizenship. When you've lived here 15 years, Taiwan becomes your home. The government usually gives you a permanent resident certificate, but you're still not really Taiwanese. You don't really belong to the land. He applied for citizenship last year and he got the certificate at the end of December. I was so surprised and delighted when he told me about this gift. Dibasa is just one of many immigrants who come to Taiwan and make life here richer for everyone. But for indigenous peoples, it's especially touching to see a new Taiwanese take so wholeheartedly to one of the oldest cultures of the island.